Hello, this is a quick tutorial of how to use the Odom Rec modeling software for dynamic material cycles. To set up a modeling environment on your machine, you need four elements, which are presented here in Chapter 7 of the Odom Rec model doku. You need a local copy of the Odom MFA model, you need a copy of the Rec model, you need a copy of the Rec database, and you need a local result folder. In the Odom Rec model doku, it's explained where you get the data and the model from. And once you have them on your machine, your folder structure could look like this. Here, this is my working folder for Odom Rec. So I have the Odom model in this folder, I have the Rec database in this folder, the model in this folder, and the results in this folder. How does the model now know where all these paths are? If you open the Rec model folder, you see here there's a Rec paths python file and this is a local file that you need to create yourself this is not part of the download package because it's specific to every machine and in this path file there is a list of the four paths of the four elements that i just listed in your machine specific notation so this is a windows machine so we have to double backslash for the different directories you see the odin path the data path results path and the rec path are all in here and the model script will read those paths and then know where to take the different paths from. How does the modeling now work? You see here in this main model folder, you have a lot of scripts. There are two scripts that are relevant for us. The first one is the actual main model script. This is the Odom Rec and then the version number.py. And there is the Odom Rec scenario control, this one here. This is the one that calls the main model script if you want to loop over many scenarios. And there's actually also a third model script. This is the scenario evaluate script that then takes the results and formats them into different tables and plots some overview figures. So you can open these three files in your Python environment, for example, here in Spider. So you see there is the Autumn Rec main model script, there's the scenario control script, and there's the scenario evaluate script. These scripts only contain the model structure. They do not contain the data because the data are part in this of the separate data folder. And they also do not contain the model configuration. This is stored in a separate file because we want to keep data, configuration, and the actual model files separate to have a good setup that we can run the same model with many different data and configurations. So the model configuration is stored in the rec config file. It's this one here rec underscore config version 2.3 is the current one and this one has many different sheets for different country settings or different sector settings and on each sheet you have the aspects defined you have a list of all the parameters which are typically the same within the same model version and then you have a number of config parameters for example whether the different re material efficiency strategies should be included or not and other things that matter that can be uh, specified here, for example, which sectors are to be included in the calculations or whether recycling or not is included to also evaluate some counterfactual scenarios. And now there's in principle two different operating modes for the Odom Rec model. The first one is the single setting model run. In this model run, you would adjust the settings here, for example, here you add a different parameter version or here you switch on or off different strategies and then you would go to the main model script and you would run the model script and the model script will then load the config file and create the results for this one single model run in practice we follow a different avenue because in practice we would like to run many different model settings with the same database so therefore we have another excel file this is the rec underscore model config list this is an excel file that contains an arbitrary number of different model configurations so here you see here this are um, settings for the germany case study there is the cascade for the non-residential buildings, for the passenger vehicles, there's a sensitivity analysis for the different sectors, and each of these subheadings has then a number of different sectors selected and different strategies depending on what you need for the specific cascade step, the material efficiency cascade step. 
And then what you then do, if you want to run all these with in one go, you don't have to change the config file by hand. Instead, you would choose to run the Odom rec scenario control file. This is a script that goes through the list we've just seen and writes this different model configs into the Odom rec config files and then calls the script to then read that config file and archives the results and then continues with the next config. So this is just a script to batch process Odom rec scenarios. So here you can, for example, have 200 scenarios in run one go, so you can let your computer run overnight and you don't have to worry about it. So this is the second option for batch processing. If you run that script, the result, you see here the final line of the script is a variable that's called result folders. This is a list of all the folders that are generated for the different scenarios. And this list needs to be copied, for example, via the spider variable manager, needs to be copied into the sheet that's called evaluate rec cascade in the model config list. So here you see the latest Germany scenario run for our current paper. We have the same order of implementation runs as in the config cascade. There's cascade steps and sensitivity analysis. So we have the headings here. And here we have then the list of all the folder names, just not manually copied, but copy pasted from the spider result folder list. So these are now in total for this model run, 62 different scenario runs. And what I can do then in the third step is I take the script Odom rec scenario evaluate and this script will parse this model result list. It knows what to do depending on whether it's cascade or sensitivity. It will call different evaluation scripts and these scripts are tailored to processing the different folders that are in here. So that script, just by running it, it takes about five minutes for the current case to run through. This script will then read all the results from the different results folders and lists and produce the different plots. So these are the two working modes I wanted to present to you. The first one is manually make changes in the config file and run the Odom as a single script run just to process a single scenario. The second mode of operation is to go to the script rec model config, so not the script, but the Excel file rec model config list and specify a larger number of scenarios that then are batch processed with the script Odom rec scenario control. And you will see in here, there's a few settings to be made. You can choose different lists to run. And once it's run through, it produces the result folders variable, which is a list. That list needs to be copied to the evaluate rec cascade Overview here in the rec model config list Excel file, and from there it's read by the final script, the Odom rec scenario evaluate script, which reads the list, calls the different evaluation script to make the waterfall charts, to make different tables, and so on. And of course, you're welcome to add your own evaluations and modifications here. There's one final thing that I would like you to know. Currently, in its default setting, the Odom rec model script is programmed as a function. It's a function because then we can batch process the script and can uh, have it called by the scenario control script. That means the internal variables of the Odom rec model will never appear visible in the Python workspace. That's helpful for processing a lot of scenarios, but it's not helpful for debugging. So if you want to actually look deep inside the main results of the um, own rec model and all the detailed results, all the variables, you would have to switch the main model script from function to normal script. Now, I'm not a Python professional, so I don't know what the best way of doing is actually is, but what I would do is I would comment out the function definition and I would untap the entire model script like this, switch it back and also out comment the return. So now you have changed the Odom rec model from function to script 
you can run it now in a single scenario mode and you can now analyze all the different scenarios. So that's an additional feature that you can use if you want to debug the script or add new features. And with that, I want to wish you all the best in using this model and don't hesitate to contact the Autumn Rec team if you have further questions. Thank you.